Welcome to the Aircraft Spruce Quick Review. I'm Ryan Deck, Avionics Sales Manager, and in this video we'll be looking at the Garmin GTN 650 GPS Navcom. Garmin has released the 650 which offers a more compact and affordable IFR solution compared to the larger screen GTN 750. Here are three key features of the GTN 650. First is its 4.9 diagonal capacitive touchscreen display. The 650 has a simple icon-based menu for maps, traffic, terrain, weather, and flight planning. On the top left corner is the COM and NAV volume control knob. And on the bottom right is a small and large knob. And by pressing it, you can change the right corner screen from COM to NAV tuning. COM or NAV tuning can be easily done via the touchscreen or the knobs giving the pilot his or her preference. On the bottom left is the SD card slot to store database information, and along both sides of the 650 is its built-in air intake for cooling. The Direct 2 button on the right side will allow you to quickly pick a point on the map and navigate to it. No matter what screen you are on, you can use the Home button on the top right corner to get you right back to where you started from at the main menu. Secondly, the GTN 650 offers a compact and affordable IFR suite. At almost a third the size of the GTN 750, the 650 is the same height as the older GNS 430W and still offers a 53% larger screen size. The 650 allows you to select your mapping detail level, as well as the ability to add mapping overlay, such as topo, terrain, weather, traffic, and low or high airways. Loading an IFR flight plan is straightforward, using the alphanumeric keypad to first select the range of letters and then press the letters of your airport identifier. From there you can select your departure or arrival and what runway you plan to use, as well as the option to preview your route before you load it. You can also quickly select Victor Airways between your route and add them to your flight plan. The GTN 650 is a WAS enabled GPS and with built in nav you can shoot VOR, ILS and GPS VNAV approaches allowing you to use your experimental EFIS to show you the approach CDI information right on the primary flight display. The third is the 650's remote add-ons and interface capabilities and by adding one of the GTX series Mode C or S remote transponders you can input and idate your squat code right on the 650 display. The GDL88 when installed will meet the future ADS-B mandate as well as give you free government provided weather overlay as well as traffic. The GTN 650 comes with display, Americas or International Database Card, GA35 WAS GPS antenna, rack, backplate, and connector kit as well as a wiring harness with schematic drawing to simplify your installation. For complete product information and getting the Garmin GTN 650 into your experimental aircraft, please visit our website at www.aircraftspruce.com or call us at 1-877-4-SPRUCE.